Hi, I'm Katie, an educator here at the Alaska Sea Life Center, and I'm here with Hannah. I am a vet assistant here at the Sea Life Center, and I also work in the Wildlife Response Department. Today we'll be talking about all things bones. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the skeletons of some very important patients we have at the Alaska Sea Life Center. Hannah, which animals am I referring to? We have two sea otter pups right now at the Alaska Sea Life Center. Even though they're both the same species, their skeletal structure and skulls look a little bit different because of their different ages. We didn't know exactly how old both of these otters were, so we did look at their teeth to determine their age. We have a really, really young patient that we knew came in at about a day, and looking at a fetal skull, we can tell that it's a fetus, and we knew our little girl was really young because just like a human, she had some teeth that were not erupted, and that is a painful process. So our <laughs> little girl right now is actually teething and really fussy because of it. So what we do to help with that is give a lot of ice treats, yeah, she just has to work through it like a human baby. Our older otter, we knew that she was older, one, because of her size, and two, because most of her teeth were erupted. So her teeth weren't fully looking like this. She was still pushing some teeth through, but because she had most of them, we knew that she wasn't necessarily gonna be drinking out of a bottle. She would probably rip the bottle apart. Mm -hmm. So we were feeding her with really heavy duty syringes and then we quickly moved her to solids because her teeth and her body was telling us like, hey, this is what I need. 